as far as boundary conditions go, we have the exact same uh, the exact same situation as we had before. We could have uh, the value of the function so that the Dirichlet and names stay the same. Dirichlet is the value of the function of unknown function given at whatever the points are. And we have Neumann is where the value of the derivatives the derivative or the derivatives uh, is given. So those are those are our boundary conditions and um, so then we have three different solution methods. So solution methods that we're going to introduce here. Three different solution methods. One solution method is the the first one we're going to look at and we've looked at this before is the finite difference method. Let's fix that. Finite difference method. Uh, the second one we're going to look at is the finite volume method. Or in the book they call it the control volume approach. So same thing, the finite uh, volume method. And then the third one we're going to look at is the finite element method. Okay, so we're going to look at each of these uh, solution methods uh, in turn. Um, when we look at the finite difference method we're going to look at both explicit and implicit uh, uh, approaches for that. So the first thing then we're going to look at finite difference method, uh, the explicit approach, and for this example we are going to use uh, the elliptic um, the, the elliptic uh, partial differential equation.